To set formatting and editing restrictions to your document, well, come with me, good neighbor. Up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Protect group, and click on Restrict Editing. Opens up the task pane, and we'll work our way from top to bottom. So first off is formatting restrictions. You can limit formatting to a selection of styles. Styles like, well, up here on the Home tab in the Styles group, like the Heading 1 style. If you don't want anybody to use that within the document, then go ahead and check the box to limit, and then click on the Settings to go ahead and from the list of those that are currently allowed, let's scroll to and find, oh, there you go, Heading 1, uncheck it, click Okie Dokie, and then it says if the document already contains a style and it's not allowed, do you want to remove it? or just one rule for you and another rule for them. So that way you can keep it for you, but they can apply it when you enforce the protection here. So how about if we just say no, we don't want it removed, so we can keep mine here. But when I come over here and I click on Start Enforcing the Protection, well, you can see Heading 1's there, so it's still available for others to use. But when I click on Enforce and I type in a password or I just click Okie Dokie, you can see the Heading 1 style disappears. Nobody else can use it from this point forward. Unless they come over here and they click on Stop Protection, which, by the way, when you close out of the task pane, and they're like, what the fudge? I can't use the Heading 1 style. What happened? Well, if they watch this training video, they could come up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Protect group, and see if something's being restricted. Click on it, opens it up, and ah, yeah, something's being protected. So they can go ahead and click on Stop Protection. They don't need a password, not in this example. And that's nice because maybe you want them to be able to stop the protection if they really need to, but they have to go out of their way in order to do it. So it's not likely they'll do it by mistake if they have to come over here to stop it. In any case, we've got that, and then let me uncheck that. Below that, you got editing restrictions. You can allow only this type of editing in the document. Well, what types? Let me check it and see what's available. Track changes, comments, filling in forms, no changes, read only. So first off, track changes. Let me select that. And as you recall in an earlier training video, we covered track changes, where you can come up here on the Review tab, go to the Tracking group, and turn them on. So any changes that you or anybody else makes when you turn it on, We'll keep track of it in red, typically red, and you can change the colors if you like. But, as you recall, somebody can just come up here and deselect it and not have it track changes from that point forward. Well, if you want to enforce it and keep them from deselecting the track changes, at least without a password, then you can come over here and say, yeah, start enforcing the protection. You can have a password P, P, okay, I'm keeping the password simple. Click Okie Dokie, and it's enforced. So when they want to go ahead and make changes to the document, oh, it's keeping track of it. Rats. I can't get away with it because my fingerprints are all over it, or the changes that I'm making. So I'd have to go back and delete the changes I'm trying to make if I don't want it tracked. Or I can come up here and try to deselect it to untrack it. And if it doesn't do that, I can click on the drop-down arrow, and it says the tracking's locked, so I can click on that. And if I have a password, great. You can do it that way, or let me close out of here. If you don't, you know, click on the drop down arrow to unlock it. You can come over here to the Protect group, click on Restrict Editing, and Stop the Protection. And we do have the password, it's P. Hit Enter, and there you go. Now they can go ahead and make any changes without it being tracked. So that's one editing restriction. Another is comments. So they can go ahead and make comments anywhere within the document, but that's the only thing they can do. Unless you got some exceptions. And so it says select parts of the document and choose the users who are allowed to freely edit those sections. So if I do, well, this paragraph here, and I choose the users. Well, if you're connected to a server, like a lot of companies have set up with Microsoft, they'll have a list of all the names here. You can go ahead and check whoever or select more users. Click on that and choose a user. Let me click cancel. Since I'm not connected to a bunch of other people at the company, well, the best I can do is go ahead and choose everyone. So everyone can make changes to this selection. And how about this one right here, everyone, and maybe this one right there, everyone. Okay, so only within those three sections can they make any changes they want. Outside of that, they can only insert comments. Well, right now they can do anything they want until I start enforcing it. So if I come over here and say enforce, 
and I'll do it without a password. I mean, you get the whole password thing, right? Let's go ahead and click Okie Dokie, and there you go. And it says over here in the task pane, if they have it open, it highlights the regions that I can edit. So if you want to find the next region that you can edit, click on Find, and it goes from 1 to 2 to 3. Once you get to that region, anywhere within the region, between those two square brackets, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Outside of that, well, Zippo, except for comments. So you can right-click to add a comment and say this is a comment. I can add Groovy, and that's it. And you can even add comments in here. Well, you can do anything within those editing regions. So when you're done, go ahead and click on Stop Protection. And let me slide back here. And let's go to the next one. So we've got comments, filling in forms, which we'll cover in a later training video when we actually create a form, that you can go ahead and lock it so they can only fill in those parts of the form that you want them to fill in. So they can't change the form, you know, like the text where it says first name, last name, where they want to change it. So it says first for first name and last for last name, things like that. And then no changes, read only. Let's select that. So they can go ahead and read only these parts of the documents except for, well, the exception areas here. Then if I want to go ahead and remove the exceptions, well, if I uncheck that, it gets rid of that paragraph, and I just have these two. So they can only make changes to those two. Let's go ahead and enforce that and click Okie Dokie. So they can read all that. They can't, when they click within the document, hit the delete key. You can see down below in the status bar, uh, that, that, you can't make changes to this because the selection is locked. Alrighty then, how about here? Of course. So if we just delete the S, you see you can make changes there within those two regions. Let's go ahead and stop it. And then remember, if you want to be able to restrict editings when it comes to filling in forms, watch my forms training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.